So welcome to Go Deeper with Andy B, where we get to look at the topic of today's endurance, which we're looking at wiping the slate clean. Now, wiping the slate clean, bit of an old uh, English phrase when you think about having a slate which would be the old-fashioned piece of paper you get to the end and you could wipe the slate clean with some water and a rag and you get rid of all the scratches you put it on it with a piece of chalk that's wiping the slate clean and all of a sudden your piece of slate is brand new it looks brand new and you can do something new and that's exactly what we're looking at today is wiping the slate clean with god now let me read this from one john one and this is out of the street Bible. So we're looking at verse 9, but it, this is verses 8 to 10 in here. If we make out we've got no mess to clean up, we're deluding ourselves and living in denial. But if we face up to it, admit to God that we've messed up, that he sticks by us and sticks by his rules, wipes our slate clean and refines us. If we bluff that we're in the clear, we're making God out to be a liar. That's not good. And just proving that we've not heard a word he has said. And the thing is, when we come to God, whether we know him today for the first time, whether you've known him for 40 years, whether it's 80 years with Christ, whether it's a month or two, every day we're going to make a mistake. We make many mistakes. I can make many, many mistakes in the first five minutes of the day when I get up and I'm grumpy. But we make mistakes. But it's not so much about making mistakes. It's putting ourselves right with God and when we go back to God and say Lord I'm sorry for what I've done he is wiping the slate clean and it's a good practice and something I've tried to do as much as I can is every night before I go to sleep less good at this recently but I try and say Lord I'm sorry for what I've done today so in the morning I have a fresh slate a new day let's just jump to Lamentations and we are in Lamentations 3 and this we're looking at verse 23 but this goes to verse 22 and 24 his love, his incredible love, has protected us. We're still alive, aren't we? His passion for us doesn't go hot and cold. It's pumped in daily with every sunrise. We get a brand new dose of your loyalty and love, God. I tell myself, God, I've got, God's all I've got. I'll wait for him to show. And that's from the street model. Well, the word on the street is called now. And the thing is, when we go back to God, we get fresh opportunities for God to show us his mercies. Um, and that's what happens every day. The slate is wiped clean. Every day is a new opportunity. There was an admiral in the Navy in the States and his, um, they, he delivered a speech. And it's part of his speech, which we'll link later. Part of his speech, he said, look, to the recruits going through some training, you're going to have good days and bad days. But when you get up in the morning, make your bed. So no matter what goes on during the day, you can get into a good bed and it becomes part of a routine. So however good your day is, you've got a nice bed. However bad your day's been, you've still got a nice bed to get into. And the thing is with God, when we come to him, it's like getting into a nice, crisp, fresh bedding. It's all nice and clean. And we can go to sleep in peace and wake up the next morning ready for a new day with God, wiping the slate clean. So my suggestion is simply this. Get into the scriptures, spend a bit of time meditating, just focusing on, write them down, laminate them, whatever works for you personally. But get your head into the fact that God wants us to be reconciled to him, walking with him, synchronized. If you think about Wi-Fi signals, sometimes it gets unsynchronized and you're trying to get on the internet and it's just not working. You're pressing the buttons and nothing happens. Turn the router off, turn it on again. All good. It's a bit like that with that with God. We don't have to turn off our relationship. He just perfectly resets it all. And all we have to do is like, God, I'm sorry for what I've done. Please make me right with you again. And we can go on again. And that's wiping the slate clean with God. He literally wipes it clean so we can go back on him once more. Let's be grateful for the days we've got. Get ourselves right with God and get deeper with him by go deeper with him every, every day. Just get more and more into who God is and what you are in God and how much he loves you.